Today's math lesson will be multi-step equations, which to me is the most fun out of anything we ever did in my math class. So, if you know how to do this problem right now, it will be kind of fun if you want to pause the video, do this problem, and then we'll compare answers. My answer is correct because this has been this was my homework probably like three days ago, so it's all checked and marked and everything. So whatever I have is the right answer. So pause this video if you want. Pause this video if you want right now and do the problem and see what you get for an answer. Okay, if you didn't pause it or if you just unpaused it, let's see how we would do it. The first thing you want to notice is that the equal sign, there's an equal sign. So it's not an inequality, which means both sides have to be equal. Whatever you do to this side, you must do to this side and vice versa. So the first thing I would do, because parentheses you really don't want to have, is to distribute. So 4 times 2r would be 8r. 4 times negative 8, because you don't want to forget this, is a negative 32 equals 1 seventh of 49, 7r, and then 1 seventh of positive 70 would be positive 10. Now, you because it's an, it's an equality, you don't want to have 2r's. Now, since they're both positive, the easiest thing for me to do would just be to subtract from the lowest one, which would be 7r. Remember, what you do to both sides is you do both sides. These cancel, so you're left with r. Well, you're left with 1r, but 1 times r would be r, so that doesn't matter. Minus 32 equals positive 10. But we don't have to raise the plus because it's not added on to anything. And then all you have to do is add 32. And you get R equals 40. Now, if you don't, if this is the first time you're ever seeing this, I'm going to go step by step again and explain why I'm doing everything. Okay. This, Stacy, please don't do that. <laughs> Alright, so this is the video, this is the equation. What you want to do is you want to get the variable, which is not x, but I'll just use x, equals, and then you want a number. So that's what we're trying to get. Now, the first thing you want to do, because there's a lot of steps, is what I said to distribute. And that means, let's say that it was, okay, 6a minus 10. Let's say the problem was like that. To distribute it, you take the 3 and you multiply it by each term. A term is, this is a term and this is a term. It's separated by addition and subtraction only. Multiplication and division do not count. So, what you have to do is distribute this. The 4 multiplied by this term would be 8r. The 4 multiplied by this term, this negative, is 32 equals, a lot of people forget the sign, which is really important at the end. Then you just distribute this. 1 7th of 49 is 7r. That's how I draw my 7 somewhere. And then 1 7th of 70 is positive 10. Now, we want, like I said, variable equals a number. So whatever we do, since I'll start here. 7r, right? We don't want 7r on this side. We want variable equals a number. So what I have to do, because this is positive and it's multiplication, I'm going to subtract 7r because plus 7r and minus 7r cancel. Right? Let's say there was a 0 here. If you add 0 plus 7r and you subtract 7r, you're going to get a 0. Whatever you do to one side, if it's inequality, you have to do to the other side. So now we have 1r, which is 1 times r, and you really don't need the 1 there. Minus 32 equals positive 10. I really apologize for my handwriting. Now, we don't want the 32 here, because we want variable equals number. So what we have to do to get rid of this, is add 32 to make it 0. 
And that is how you get R equals 42. Okay, I only have a few minutes remaining on this video. So if you don't understand it, just kind of go back to what I did before. And review that, because now we're going to do one that, let's see. We'll do an equation. My next video will do inequalities. Okay, we'll do this one because it's being short. That's my 5. It's not an S. It's a 5. Stacy, please don't do that. Alright. So, first thing you would do, distribute. So you just keep the 5 there. 13 R minus 12. Now, you want to, they're both positive. Stacy, this is smaller. We subtract. You have 3 minus 5 equals 10 R minus 12. Alright, let's see. We're going to add 12 to both sides. I'm sorry. I'm going to do that. Okay. I'm just going to quickly solve this because it's a problem. So it's going to be negative 2 equals 10 R minus 12. So then you just add 12 and you get 10 equals 10 R and that came out surprisingly easily. Divide by 10 and then you get R equals what? They can't see that. I'm sorry. R equals 1. Okay, so all right, I'm just so trying to help me out. Okay, so that's how you do multi-step equations. Stacy, please mm -hmm. stop. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something. Oh, yeah. Bye.